And because she is who she is, she was endorsed by Noam Chomsky and Chris Hedges, among others. Dr. Stein has co-authored two published reports on health and the environment. She's a concerned woman. Dr. Stein, she's an advocate for campaign finance reform. Her environmental work has won her many awards, including clean water actions, not in anyone's backyard, as well as Children's Health Hero Award and a Toxic Action Center Citizen Award. Currently, she is president of the Green Shadow Cabinet. Please welcome Jill Stein. Thank you so much. It's really an honor to be here at the Petaluma Progressive Festival. It's an honor to be here at this epicenter, this engine of progressive politics that you are. And it's especially exciting to be here at a festival at a time when we really have something to celebrate for stopping that friggin' war. And as Norman was saying, it ain't over yet. In many ways, this is just the latest stage in a war that's been going on for about 60 years, a war for oil that began with our overthrow of the democracy in Iran, the first democratically elected president, Mossadegh, in Iran, who was overthrown by the American CIA and the British counterparts. Why? Because Iran had just nationalized their oil. It belonged to them. They needed it, and British Petroleum didn't like that. That was the beginning of the wars that we still continue to conduct today. So we need big change in the Middle East, and we need big change politically at home in order to get that peace that we deserve. Yeah. I'm going to talk a little bit about power as well. The kind of power that Frederick Douglass was talking about when he said power concedes nothing without a demand. He didn't just mean in your cities and towns. He meant power from the bottom to the top. It all concedes nothing without a demand. And the politics of fear has told us for too long that we have to be quiet. But that silence, that political silence that says, oh, you don't want to rock the boat, you don't want to challenge the lesser evil because the greater evil might benefit, well, this is a really good time to think about that. Mm -hmm. Because look at what we're facing. You know, we are facing an incredible series of expanding wars, the attack on our civil liberties, the offshoring of our jobs. The Department of Labor now says that nine out of every 10 jobs being created is a low-wage, insecure, benefit-poor, temporary and part-time job. And that's what we can expect for at least the ten next 10 years. And how do they know that? Because we've been engineered into this mess by the likes of NAFTA. How many know about the Trans-Pacific Partnership? All right, of course you know about it. If you don't know about it, this is what we have to stop. We have to stop it. This is NAFTA on steroids that continues to send more jobs overseas and when they do that it undermines jobs here at home because you just don't have any bargaining power when all the jobs are going overseas. So this supposed recovery that we're hearing about from the White House all the time how many of you think we're in a recovery? No. All right, how many think the 1% is in a recovery? Yeah. yeah. And unfortunately, our political parties, Democrats and Republicans alike, reflect the viewpoint of the 1%. So they think we're in a recovery. But everyday people know we are definitely not in a recovery because the jobs that are coming back are the jobs that we don't need and that we don't want. So we've got to fight that Trans-Pacific Partnership. 
We've got to fight to restore our civil liberties and repeal the Patriot Act and repeal the NDAA and the authorization for the use of military force. We should be repealing those things, not making our peace or excuses or apologies for them. And what we've learned is that power concedes nothing without a demand. And that means at the national level too. So I have a proposal. When you go to lobby your congressmen and women, which we should do, go there with a Green Party registration in your hand. That's how to really lobby your elected officials. Otherwise, you are absolutely powerless and meaningless compared to the power of the lobbyists and the pharmaceutical companies and the warmongers and the, the military industrial complex and all the rest who are lobbying with their dollars. We the people don't have those dollars to lobby with. So what are we going to lobby with? Numbers. numbers and, you know, they can write those numbers off. Numbers and your vote. So we've got to tell them, if you send us to war, we're showing you the door.